who do you consider your king? Think wider, just harder when I ask this question. Ooh. Okay, okay. <laughs> he got really tired. So I thought I'd just switch it up a little bit. <laughs> oh, how he got mad? Like, yeah. Even when they try to turn us against each other, that's my favorite thing. Even when what? Can't say the same for you. Yes, sir. Babe, why did you feel like? Did you feel like she was trying to trick you with that? No. Uh, no. No, I was just like, King, like, I, I know what she wanted me to answer. She wanted me to answer God. But I'm yeah. like, that's different. That, no, that's different. different. That's, that's like different. Um, yeah, so. I don't know. It just doesn't really give that you. You said you and Shanice are like friends, like besties, or no? Yeah, we're friends. I mean, okay. obviously, you know, you need to develop a relationship, and like mm -hmm. we haven't known each other for that long. All right. So, in case y'all don't know what just transpired, right? <clears throat> I'm guessing they're on a little podcast or whatever it is, and the interviewer asked, "Who do you consider your king?" The other girl, who he reprimanded at the end, she said, the Lord. And he got upset. Now, I ain't going to lie, bro. There's the, you know, it's cool to let your nuts hang, but Jesus Christ. You're pimping that strong that a can't love Jesus? If <laughs> your pimping is that strong that your woman can't love Jesus. Mm -mm -mm. That's, that's just... <laughs> That's ridiculous. Marshall, I can't love you because I'm attracted to Josh. Who's Josh? I just saw Josh. And there is some chemistry. So what was the talk about? It was him basically confessing his feelings. What are you saying to me right now? I don't... You know it's crazy? I don't never feel sorry for like reality TV relationships. It's like when somebody lose their girl or they lose their they boyfriends on one of these reality TV shows, I never feel sorry for them because you knew what you was getting yourself into. You knew what you was getting yourself into when you bought jo her to meet Josh. <laughs> you thought your love was that strong, huh? I don't want to be with you anymore. And oh, You want to be with Josh? I will find that out. Okay, Jackie. She don't even that know she want to be with Josh. Very hurtful. I'm just telling you, Marshall, that I just can't be with you. I can't. I would like the ring back because I don't think that you deserve it. Mm. Because you should never have accepted my proposal. Well, I'm going to keep the ring because I accepted it because I wanted to marry you. Everything I told you in that... Wait, hold on, hold on, cuz. Hold on, 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 hold on. You want to be with Josh, but you don't want to get this man his ring back? Make it make sense. Somebody please make it make sense. Bro. Make it make sense to me. That pod was real. And you know what? I, I don't even care. You can you can keep the ring. Every time you look at that thing, whatever you do with it, I want you to be reminded that you passed up on something great. Okay. What? What? Y'all need, yo, y'all be, y'all be going on these shows and be going out bad. This the second day in a row I've reacted to something where the men just went on these shows and they're going out bad. What you mean she could keep the ring? Every time you see the ring, you're going to be reminded that you passed up on something great. No, the f*** she not. That's going to be jewelry for her. She going to switch the fingers that she wear it on and she go, it's going to be an accessory. Simp. Excuse 
Excuse me, is Chris still on the clock? Who? Chris K. Uh, I don't know who that is. You running up on your girl at work, cuz. Okay. Do you know what office you're looking for? There she is. Hello. Hello. So you didn't get the DoorDash order? You didn't get the DoorDash order from earlier? I'm not poor. I have no idea what you're talking about. I, well, she, she even okay. saw you with the well, food. I mean, okay. you guys have cameras here. Totally you said the order that. never arrived. I don't know. What do you mean? I so, why does it say that the customer says the order never arrived? I don't know. Okay. I didn't. Yo. I'm not going to lie. <clears throat> I had a choice between doing Uber, doing Uber Eats, or even DoorDash. And I chose not to do none of the whole food delivery thing. Simply because of situations like this. I don't trust people. I do not trust people. Now, that comes from personal experiences. It wasn't as big as this, you know what I'm saying? We used to go to... to uh, well, back when I used to eat McDonald's and stuff, we'd go to McDonald's or go to Chick-fil-A, order some fries, excuse me, then come back around and say that we didn't get the fries so we can get an extra fry for the other person in the car. You know, that's simple stuff. Simple. But this right here, this is a level of, of, of uh, demonic behavior that cannot be condoned because you you messing with somebody's livelihood. You messing with somebody's livelihood when you do that. And look at her looking, sitting, standing there looking stupid. Standing there looking stupid. Like, were you just trying to get free food and put my job on the line? Okay, well, we're, we got to figure something out because it says that the customer says the order never arrived and I got a contract violation. Gotcha. Mm. I'm an independent contractor. Yeah, it's way to okay. carry the... So that puts my job at risk? Mm. The so, assistant. we're going to have to call DoorDash support off your phone because I wasn't the one that said the order never arrived. It's on, it's an on your side of things. What? You, it doesn't just randomly happen magically. You have to get a hold of DoorDash support directly to say that the order never arrived. Okay. Um, it's a shared account, so it might be something that... Oh, she lied. It's a shared account. Okay, well, we're going to... Yeah, I'm currently at work, too, and now my job's at risk because of... I don't know. I, she said your boyfriend's name is Chris. She said she saw you with the food. So you, you got the food earlier, right? You down here, sir? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, first. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well... Look, at the beginning of the video, she said she didn't get the food. At the beginning, she said, I don't I don't know what you're talking about. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Now it's, yeah, yeah. Ah, smack out of my do something. Yo. Mm. He could have used the wrong card and he refunded it. Wasn't, he thought it wasn't. It wasn't. You can't refund it. It's What's you. You reported the order as never arrived. There's no refund about that. Well, maybe. I mean, there is a refund if you don't get your order, I think, for your food. But that's the point of that is people don't get, like, my job's at risk. I can't just give you free food and and sweep it under the rug like it's not how it works like i have a job too i have five kids i gotta feed like it's not god damn cut I that, but I didn't do it, so I didn't well i understand so can we pull the phone out and figure out yeah right let's okay but you got the food earlier yes okay all right i'm not, I'm not i didn't do it so i'm not gonna sit okay here. it's an evil world we living in man <clears throat> it's an evil world we living in that's all i'm gonna say she standing there acting like she innocent. You look like you was trying to steal some free food.